Um, so, how would you describe your art and your approach to the work you do? Um, I feel like Deja Vu. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably quite impulsive. I'm not very, I don't premeditate stuff, I just sort of go with it and like let it develop and grow on its own. What is your installation symbolise and how does it relate to you as a person? Um, I'm, a, I'm a bit obsessed with human anatomy and like the human body um, and I've been like that since I was younger and like when you look at my stuff a lot of it is quite organ like and um, like it's quite representative of the human body and yeah I'm just a bit obsessed with it. Do you have like a favourite art medium that you prefer to work with? Um, I do like painting, like I do like traditional painting um, or drawing but I quite like doing stuff with my hands like being things that are tactile and like being able to craft them or like is that the word? Yeah. Um, I always sort of sway towards fabrics and textiles even though I don't, I wouldn't say that I'm a big fan of them but when I'm working it just sort of goes that way. What artists have inspired your installation that you've created? Um, I wouldn't say like any particular artist inspired me, but there's definitely artists like subconsciously that um, have influenced me, like Tracy Emin, her installations, because um, I liked her tent installation and um, her use of fabric. Um, and just like not so much artists, but like a lot of theatre and a lot of like cinematic approaches like with sets and stuff. Do you have a favourite piece of art that you've created with your time as an artist? Um, the series I did last year called Hungry for Love is probably one of my favourites. Um, just because it is probably like the most accurate self-portraiture I've done. Um, yeah. Does your art make you feel any like specific emotion? Um, I think when I'm working, I go into a bit of like a hyper focus. It's a bit of like a trance state. Um, you get a certain high of working like impulsively with your hands and stuff. So, but. And sometimes like when you're doing something you don't realise, like you just sort of go with it and then when you step back, um, you like you're like looking at it as if you're not you're st as if you haven't done it, so that can be quite cool and um, be quite emotional because sometimes like feelings come up that you didn't know were there, so your subconscious feelings just sort of like vomit act, like you vomit them up as you're going along. Are there any specific connections with the outside world? Um, not like, not not to society or like politically, but maybe the essence of like nature and like life and the circle of life and yeah, but not not to like people or. I'm a bit of a narcissist and I don't make work of other people, I make work of myself. I'm a bit of a selfish artist, yeah. <laughs>